Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play a finger style arrangement of the Pokemon theme. So let's get into it. So for this arrangement, we are in standard tuning and you need to put a capo on the third fret of your guitar. Also, all the tabs for this lesson are available on my Patreon page. If you like them, you can check out the link down below. It really helps support my channel. So I've divided the song into two different parts. We have the verse and then we have the chorus. So let's start with the verse. It sounds like this. So we start off by playing this part. So there we have a portion of an E minor chord. You just need to hold the second fret of the D string and all the rest of the strings are open. So you have the, uh, on the right hand, you're playing the low E string, which is open. The D string, second fret there, the open G string and the open B string, which is an E minor chord. So you play it like this. You start by playing the bass note, the open low E string. And then you play these three, the D string, G string and the B string with a roll like that together. So you plug the bass note first and then the rest of the strings. Like that. And after that you play the open B string two more times. Just the open B string. And after that you have this part. So there you're playing the open low E string and the open B string together. You're plucking them both together like that. And then you're playing this. Where you're playing the second fret of the D string, then the open G string and then the open B string. Like that. I'll do that again. So all together from the start you have this. And then you have this part. So there you're changing from this chord to this one, which is actually a D major chord. You have the fifth fret of the A string, the fifth fret if you count from the capo. So you have the fifth fret here, and then you have the fourth fret of the D string, and then you have the second fret of the G string. So you start by playing this where you're plucking the 5th fret of the A string and the 2nd fret of the G string together. And while those two are ringing after you plug them, you play the 4th fret of the D string and then the 5th fret of the A string again. Like that. And right after that, while still holding the chord, you play the A string, then the D string and then the G string. So all together you have this. I'll play that again. So all together from the start you have this. And then you have this part. So here again you're back on the first chord, the E minor chord, where you're holding the second fret of the D string. So you start by playing this, where you're plucking the low E string and the B string together, both of which are open. Plucking them together first. And then you're playing just the open B string and then just the open low E string after that. Like that. And right after that you have this part. Where you're playing the second fret of the G string, you have to add your ring finger onto the second fret there. And then you're pulling off to the open G string. Like that. I'll do that again. And then you change to this chord. So there you're changing back into the D major chord. You have the 5th fret of the A string, the 4th fret of the D string and the 2nd fret of the G string. So you start by playing this. So you're playing the G string there first. And then you're playing the A string 
and then the D string like that and after that you play this where you playing the A string then the D string and then the G string so all together you have this and if you play it from the start and then you have this part so there you're changing to the c major chord where you have the third fret of the a string the second fret of the d string the open g string and the first fret of the b string you start by playing this so there you're playing the bass note on the third fret of the a string first and then you're playing the open g string and the first fret of the b string together like that and after that you play the first fret of the b string two more times like that i'll play that again and then you have this part so there while holding the chord you plug the a and b string together and then you're playing the d string then the open g string and then the first fret of the b string like that so all together you get this and then you have this part so there you're playing a portion of a g major chord so you have to play the third fret of the low e string and the open b string together first like that you plug them both together and then you play the second fret of the g string and then you play the open g string like that i'll play that again and then you just have to add this part So there you're playing the third fret of the low E string, then the open D string, and then the open G string, like that. So all together you get this, and then you have this part. So there you start with the same chord. You have the third fret of the low E string, which you're playing with your ring finger. You plug that with the open B string together. the low e string and the open b string and then you play the open b string again one more time so you get this and then you change to this part so there you're playing the open a string and the second fret of the g string together first and then you're playing the open g string like that so all together you have this and then you change to this chord So there you have a portion of a B major chord. You have the second fret of the A string, the fourth fret of the D string, the fourth fret of the G string and the open B string. So you plug all of them together like that. So all together again you have this. And in the end you just add this little fill. where you're still holding that same chord you're just playing the a string then the d string and then the g string like that so all together again you have this and then you move on to the next part so before explaining the next part i'll play the whole thing once from the start till this point you have this so far after that you have this part which is mostly the same as what you played before but the very first chord is different i'll play the whole thing it sounds like this so there only the first part on the e minor chord is different you have that so there you have to hold the second fret of the low e string with your middle finger 
and you start by playing this so you start by playing the bass note the open low e string first and then you plug the second fret of the d string the open g string and the open b string together with a roll like that and after that you play the open b string just once like that right after the roll and then you do this so there you're plucking the low e string and the b string together both of which are open and then you're playing just the open b string again like that so all together you have this one more time really slow and then you change to the next chord and then the rest of it is same as what you played earlier so i'll play the second part once again it sounds like this So there at the end you just end by plucking this chord once and that's it. You don't need to play that little fill that you played earlier. You just pluck the chord. That's it. So I'll play the entire verse once. It sounds like this. So now we have the chorus, I have divided it into four smaller chunks. So let's start with the first one, it sounds like this. So that's the very first bit of the chorus. So after playing the last part of the verse where you have this part. After that you have this. So there you're playing the open B string and then you're playing the third fret of the B string and then you're playing the high E string which is open. So all together you have this. And then you change to the next chord. So we start off by holding this chord. Is a C major 7 chord, you have the 3rd fret of the A string, the 2nd fret of the D string and the G and B strings are open. So you start by playing the bass note on the 3rd fret of the A string and then you play this part of the chord, the 2nd fret of the D string, the open G string and the open B string together with a slap like that. So if you don't know that technique, I'm basically using my index finger and I'm playing the chord using this motion like that and at the same time I'm slapping the lower strings with the thumb to create that percussive sound. So you're doing both of them together simultaneously. So you get that effect. So you first pluck the bass note on the third fret and then you ring the chord with the slap and then you play the open B string like that. I'll do that again. And right after you played the open B string, you have this part. So there you're playing the third fret, the bass note on the A string and the third fret of the B string now together like that. So you're playing the A string and the B string together. And then you're playing the open high E string. And then you're slapping like that. So all together we have this. I'll do that again really slow. So there you're just slapping your thumb onto the lower strings just to create that percussive sound. You're not ringing the chord with the index finger this time. So you're just doing that. Just like that.
and after that you have this part so there you're changing to this chord where you have the third fret of the low e string and the third fret of the b string you start by playing the open high e string and after that you play the bass note on the third fret of the low e string and then you do this where you're plucking the open g string and the third fret of the b string together so all together you have this and then you add a slap in the end one more time i'll do that again and then you play this where you're plucking the third fret of the low e string and the open b string together like that so all together you get this I'll do that again one more time. And after that you just add this part. Where you slap and then you play the bass note again, the note on the third fret of the low E string. Like that. So I'll play the entire portion on this chord again. It sounds like this. And if you play it from the very beginning, you get this. And after that you have this part. So there you start with a C major chord. So here you have the 3rd fret of the A string, the 2nd fret of the D string, the open G string and the 1st fret of the B string. You start by playing this. So you start by playing the bass note, the 3rd fret of the A string. And then you play this portion of the chord, the 2nd fret, the open G string and the 1st fret of the B string together with the slap. Like that. And after that you play the open high E string, you just play that note. Like that. Right after the slap. And then you have this part. So there you lift this finger up and you play the 3rd fret of the A string and the open high E string together. Just plug them together like that. And then you place your middle finger onto the 2nd fret of the high E string. And you play that note. The high E string there. And after that you change to the 3rd fret of the high E string like that. And you ring the chord with the slap. Like that. I'll do that again. So all together from the start you get this. One more time. And then you have this. So there you're changing to a D major chord where you have the 2nd fret of the G string, the 3rd fret of the B string and the 2nd fret of the high E string. So you start by playing the 2nd fret of the high E string, then you play the open D string and then you play the 3rd fret of the B string. Like that. And after that you slap and ring the chord. So there you're ringing the 2nd fret of the G string and the 3rd fret of the B string together with the slap like that and in the end you play the third fret of the B string again right after the slap so all together from the start we have this so far And right after we played this part in the end, you have this part now. So there you start with your index finger on the 2nd fret of the G string. You start by playing the open D string first. And then you play the open B string. And then you place your ring finger onto the 3rd fret of the B string. And you ring this part of the chord with a slap the 2nd fret of the G string and the 3rd fret of the B string 
together with the slab. And in the end you play the open high E string. I'll play that again. One more time really slow. So again all together from the start we have this so far. And after that we have this next part which sounds like this. So there you start by playing this. So there you have an E minor chord where you have the second fret of the A string and the second fret of the D string. So you start by playing the open low E string. And then you ring the chord with the slap. So there you're ringing the open G string, the open B string and the open high E string together with the slap. Like that. And right after the slap, you have this part. So there you're playing the low E string which is open. Then you're playing the second fret of the D string. And then you're ringing the open G and the open B string together with the slap. And then you're playing the open high E string in the end. Like that. And right after that you have this. So there you're changing from the C minor chord to this chord which is actually a portion of a D major chord. So you have the second fret of the G string here and the third fret of the B string. So you start by playing this. There you're playing the open D string and the third fret of the B string together. And after that you play the note on the 2nd fret of the G string. And then you slap and ring this part of the chord where you have the open D string and the 2nd fret of the G string. Like that. And after that you have this. Where you're plucking the open D string and the open G string together. Like that. So all together you have this. One more time. I'll do that again really slow. And right after that we have this. So there in the end you're ringing the D and G strings both of which are open with the slap. And then you're playing the open D string once. Like that. So all together you're getting this. I'll do that again really slow. So all together you have this from the E minor chord. And then you have this part. So there you're basically playing this part that you played before in the verse. But you're playing it with the slap this time. So here you start with this chord which is actually a portion of a G major chord. You have the 3rd fret of the low E string, the open D string, the open G string and the open B string together. Like that. So you start by plucking the chord. And then you slap and ring the open D string, G string and the B string together. Like that. I'll do that again. And after that you have this part. So there you have to play the open A string and the 2nd fret of the G string together first. And then you let go of this note and you play the open G string. Like that. So all together you have this. And to end you have this chord which you play with the slap. So here you have the 2nd fret of the A string, the 4th fret of the D string. 4th fret of the G string and the open B string. You start by playing this portion of the chord, the 4th fret of the D string, 4th fret of the G string and the open B string together with the slap. 
like that so all together you have this and after that on this chord you have this part so right after you slap and ring the chord you have that part there so there you're playing the a string then the d string then you're slapping and ringing the chord and then you're playing the open b string like that so all together you have this and in the end you have this part so there you're on that last chord you start by playing the bass note on the second fret of the a string and after that you play the open b string then you add your middle finger onto the third fret of the b string and you ring this part of the chord the fourth and the third fret with the slap and in the end you play the open high e string like that i'll do that again really slow one more time so that's the whole second part i'll play the whole thing once from the start of the chorus till this point we have this so far And after that we have the third part of the chorus it sounds like this So here we start with the C major 7 chord you have the third fret of the A string the second fret of the D string the open G string and the open B string So you start by playing this you play the bass note the note on the third fret of the a string and then you ring this part of the chord the second fret the open g string and the open b string together with the slap like that and after that you play just the open b string once like that and after that you have this part So there you're playing there you have to add the third fret of the B string there you're playing that with your little finger so you start by plucking the third fret of the A string and the third fret of the B string together and then you play the open high E string and in the end you just slap like that I'll do that again really slow and after that you have this part So there you're changing to this chord where you have the second fret of the G string and the third fret of the B string and you also have the open high E string on top so you start by playing this So there you're playing the open high E string first and then you're playing the open D string and after that you're playing the note on the third fret of the B string And after that you ring this part of the chord the second fret of the G string and the third fret of the B string together with the slap like that And after that you have this part So there you're again just playing the open high E string then the open D string and then you're slapping and ringing this part of the chord again So all together you get this if you add both of them I'll do that again really slow And if you play it with the first part And right after that you have this So here you have an E minor chord. You have the second fret of the A string and the second fret of the D string. So you start by playing the open low E string first and then you slap and ring the chord. 
So there you're slapping and ringing this part of the chord, the second fret of the D string, the open G string and the open B string together. You're playing that with the slap, like that. And after that you play the open high E string once. I'll do that again. And after that you have this part. So right after you played the open high E string in the end. Now you have to play the open high E string with the open low E string together. So I'm plucking the low E string and the high E string together. And after that you have to add your little finger onto the second fret of the high E string and you play that note. Like that. And then you move one fret up to the third fret. And now you slap and ring this part, the open G string, the open B string and the third fret of the B string together. You play that with the slap. I'll do that again really slow. One more time. So if you play it all together you have this. One more time really slow. And then you change to this chord. So there you're changing to this chord, which is a D major chord shape. You have to play the second fret of the low E string. I'm playing that with my thumb. And you also have the second fret of the G string, the third fret of the B string, and the second fret of the high E string. So you start by playing this, where you plug the high E string first, and then you plug the low E string, and then you plug the G and B strings together. So you get this. And after that you add a slap. Like that. I'll do that again. And after the slap you plug the low E string, the G string and the B string together. Like that. All three of them together. So all together you get this. And after that you just have to slap and ring the G and B strings together. Like that. I'll do the whole thing again really slow. So that's the whole third part of the chorus. I'll play the whole thing once, it sounds like this. And after that we have the fourth part of the chorus which sounds like this. So you start with an A minor 7 chord where you're holding the second fret of the G string, the first fret of the B string and the third fret of the high E string. So you start by playing this where you're plucking the open A string the second fret of the G string and the first fret of the B string together and then you're playing the third fret of the high E string, just the note on the high E string. And after that you slap, like that. And after that you have this. So there you're playing the third fret of the high E string first, then the open A string, then the third fret of the high E string again. And then you slap, like that. So if you play it with the previous part, you get this. One more time really slow. And after that you have this. So here you have this chord where you have the third fret of the low E string, the open G string, the third fret of the B string and the third fret of the high E string. So you start by playing this. So you start by plucking the low E string, the G string which is open and the B string together. And after that you play the high E string and then you slap like that. And after that you have to add this part. 
there you're plucking the low E string, the open G string, the B string and the high E string all together. So you're plucking all four of those strings together like that. And then you slap and ring the chord. So there I'm ringing the open G string and the third fret of the B string together. So all together you have this. One more time really slow. And after that you have this part. So here you start with the G major chord again. You have the third fret of the low E string, the open G string, third fret of the B string and the third fret of the high E string. You just pluck all of them together. The low E string, G string, B string and the high E string. And then you slap and mute the chord. Like that. And after that you change to this chord. So here you have this chord where you have the open A string, 2nd fret of the D string and the 2nd fret of the G string. I'm playing both of them with a bar with my index finger like that. And then you have the 3rd fret of the B string and the 3rd fret of the high E string. So on the right hand you're plucking the A string which is open, then the G string, the B string and the high E string. All together like that. And then you slap and mute the chord. Like that, just like before. So from the last chord you get this. And then you have this part. So there you have the second fret of the A string, the open B string and the third fret of the high E string. You pluck all of them together. And then you pull off from the third fret of the high E string to the second fret of the high E string. Like that. So there I'm actually already holding the second fret of the high E string with my middle finger before the pull off. And then right after the pull off you already have that in place. So that's how you play that. So all together the whole thing sounds like this. So that's the fourth part of the chorus. I'll play the whole thing once. It sounds like this. So that's all the four parts that you need to play the whole chorus. I'll play the whole chorus once for you. It sounds like this. And after that you have a very short outro part which is actually the ending. I'll play from the last part of the chorus into the outro. It sounds like this. So right after you played that last pull off in the chorus, you played this. So there you're playing the open B string two times. And then you place your ring finger on the 3rd fret of the B string. You play that note. And then you play the open high E string. And then you slap. I'll play that again really slow from the pull off. And then you change to this chord. So there you have a C major chord. You have the 3rd fret of the A string, the 2nd fret of the D string the open G string, the first fret of the B string and the open high E string. So you plug the A string, G string, B string and the high E string together first. And right after you plug the chord, you have this part. So there you lift this finger up, so now you have the open B string. And you ring this part of the chord, the second fret of the D string, the open G string and the open B string together with a slap. Like that. And after that you play just the open B string. Like that. So first you plug the chord and then you add that part. 
and then you change to this bar. So there you're changing to this chord which you've played before. It's actually a portion of a D major chord. You have the second fret of the G string and the third fret of the B string. So you start by playing the open D string and the third fret of the B string together. And then you play the open high E string. And then you slap. I'll play that again. One more time. And then you change to this chord. So there you have an E minor chord where you have the second fret of the A string and the second fret of the D string. So on the right hand you're plucking the low E string, the G string, the B string and the high E string. All of them are open. You pluck all the four strings together like that. And that's it. So that's the whole outro. I'll play the whole thing once. It sounds like this. And that's the outro. So the structure of this song is fairly straightforward. You start with the verse and then you have the chorus where you have all the four parts. And after that you have the outro after which the song ends. So that's the whole song. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped. All the tabs for this lesson and all my other lessons are available on my Patreon page. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions or requests for song tutorials, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.